Hey YouTubers, Maxine here. Going to try another project and that is growing wheatgrass. So I happen to have these hard red spring wheat berries, five pound bag I bought on Amazon. And I have three different methods of growing the wheatgrass. I want to see which one has the best results. So the first thing I did was take two cups of this wheat berries, put it in a bowl and soak it overnight. Like I have another batch started. I've been starting a batch every two days. And then this batch was started a few days ago and I was watching this one girl who said to buy these trays, which is wonderful. And I happen to live in a dry climate, southwest, but I left it overnight and it still has mold. So I believe you still, I'm going to add the two teaspoons of baking soda to water and then I'm going to spray it. So stay tuned. Okay, so I just added two tablespoons, two teaspoons of baking soda and I'm going to spray these plants. And I've had these growing for maybe uh, four days, five days, something like that. I have it listed. But this uh, baking soda is supposed to keep the mold away. I don't know if you saw the mold, but the mold is going away as I spray. See some of the mold. Okay, and then you're supposed to cover it. I want to cover this one. Then I'll take it to my other two experiments. Being a science major, I like to experiment. Okay, stay tuned. We're going to the other two uh, test runs of these uh, wheatgrass growing. Okay, the other, uh, the second one I'm testing to see how far how fast it grows is my Fresh Life Automatic Sprouter Model 2000. It's an older model I had to put away. And um, so far, it's doing better than the first batch, which I'll show you next. Uh, what I learned about this, the reason I didn't use this before is because when I grew the wheatgrass in it before, what would happen is the, it was very hard to get the roots out of the growing system. So I watched another gentleman on YouTube and he used paper towels. So I'm using paper towels as a base to let the water grow through. And you can see it's growing nicely. I have it outside. Okay. And the third method was recommended by a gentleman who said you put the soil in and then I have rocks underneath the base so that the water drains through. And that is growing like so. Hold on. And so far this is what I've got growth wise on these seedlings, these wheat berry seedlings. So I'm going to keep going and find out which one grows the best wheatgrass and the mo most amount of wheatgrass. So we'll see whether that one or that one, or the one in the house, this is our outside right now, grows the best wheatgrass. And I'll keep you, uh, I'll make another video right after I'm done with this. Take, take care everyone, YouTubers. Have a great day.